This is Audio-Technica's 1820 receiver. It actually will receive two transmitters at once and its diversity. So if it's picking up a weak signal on antenna A, it switches over to antenna B automatically. So I'm going to show you the menu and how easy it is. Right now I'm using external power. If you're out in the field and you're using just one transmitter, flip it to one and you're using internal batteries. If you flip it to both, it's looking for a second transmitter and you're using twice the batteries. So here's how we set the uh, um, frequency that we want. In the hold mode, it shows you the frequency for one. Slide over to two and that's the frequency for two. So let's say you want to change one. Go over to one. Push the menu and you get a simple menu. Go up, that's the frequency you're at. Go up, that's wanting to scan scan bank one. Or you can scan scan bank two. Or scan bank three or quit. You quit and you're out of the menu. It is that easy. So let's do two things. Hit the menu. Let's say someone said I want you to be on a particular frequency. Hold the set button down and they've given you the numbers and you can go up or down in big increments holding this down or little tiny increments and when you get to the frequency you've been told to go to hold the set button and keep holding it till stored appears. That's real simple. But let's say you want the receiver to look for open frequencies and pick it up. Hit the set button down. You got menu. You have scan bank one, scan bank two, and scan bank three. So let's use scan bank three. Hold it. Scan bank three is active. Now it's asking you, do you want to scan from the top or the bottom? And what it's done is this is a large uh, range of frequencies, and they just broke it up into three parts. So we're going to scan on scan bank 3, and we're going to scan from the top. And it's found this frequency is open. We can pick that or go to the next one. Now this frequency is open as well. So we'll hold the set button and we'll store it. And this is the frequency we're going to use for channel 1. For channel 2 it's quite simple. Go over to 2 and let's say we want to pick out a frequency that's open uh, for the uh, transmitter 2. Hold the button, and this is really important. They say in the manual, because you use scan bank 3 for the first frequency, you should use it again for the second frequency. They want to work in the same bank. So we'll pick scan bank free, 3, we'll scan from the top, and uh, you know, that's a good number, or that number. It doesn't matter. You can always just say maybe a third time's a charm. So we'll hold the set button down. Alright, so this is the frequency we've chosen for the second wireless. And if you go to hold, that's the frequency for the first wireless. That's the frequency for the second wireless. It might freak you out that they're real close, but that's okay. And if you want to rescan one and uh, get a, a lower number, you can move this quite a bit by just hitting scan. Go to scan bank 3, pick it, scan it from the bottom. All right, so that's a number they said, uh, that's a frequency they said is open. Hit store. So you're at 579.125 and 574.125. You have to set your both transmitters, one to one number, one to the other. And I've had no trouble with this in the field. It's great. I love it a lot. Thanks a lot.